Hello, this is Rebecca with the Steampunk Planner. And today we have two inks that we're showing off. I just received this from Colorverse and I have never used Colorverse inks before. So this is going to be all completely new. This comes from their season five and I think the box is great. Uh, inside, it has this cute little pouch with a little sticker pack of all of the ink colors in this Season 5 color set. It's a 10 color set. Also, there's this adorable little napkin with their logo on it. Probably will not use it. It'll, I'll just keep it. And then also some swatching cards, which you know I swatch in my Sterling Ink Common Planner. So I'll keep those two, set those aside. Also inside the box comes a booklet of all of the season five sets. Now these sets have one large choice and one small choice. So it is a 65 mil and a 15 mil. And the set that I purchased is here on the back and it's Martian and Life on Mars. So Martian is the 64 and Life on Mars is the 15. I think these, it, this inset was adorable with the uh, spaceship flying around. Here is the Life on Mars and Martian. Now Martian was my choice because I watched, I believe it was Beth Solar, and she uh, was using it to test out um, her planner with that ink. So I fell in love. I love orange and I wanted to get these and Life on Mars just comes with it. So we're going to go ahead and test out the um, Life on Mars. And I'm using my brass nib. It's a Kakamori nib and my deleter holder for it. Now, something that I did find in using these inks is they definitely fool you are masking you I don't know they come across very um, what's the the word for it almost overwatered it's that's not the word I'm looking for but I can't think of it right now but it, they seem to come across almost diluted when you swatch them but when they dry the color is vibrant and strong Again, these are muted colors, and you know me, love muted colors. I did also find that the Life on Mars really didn't like my Kakamori um, nib. It was a lot of uh, start and stops. It did not like to flow through that. But the Martian ink had no issues. And because this is the one that I was buying it for, I really wanted to see what it looked like in many different thicknesses. What's interesting is it goes down very yellow orange. And you can see the shadowing um, or the excess ink makes it look almost like it has a red shimmer to it. Um, it's not overly fluid. It doesn't overflow, so I guess you would say it's more of a drier ink. It's an ink I love. It flowed beautifully with my Kakamori rib, uh, nib. Um, I had no issues whatsoever with it, and it cleaned very well with my nib. So as those dry, we're going to go ahead and get started on the Zentangle. Now, I know in my previous videos I have talked about Zentangles, but if you're new and you haven't heard of this before, I hope you don't mind. If you have, please just put me on mute. Um, what a Zentangle is, it's a doodle type of design that 
has, there are specific um, design movements and shapes, but what they do is you've got quite a few choices. You can do a Zentangle pattern, which is a um, pattern of blocks or cubes, much like a quilt that come together to make one large piece. And those patterns can end up looking like so many different things, um, curtains, flowers, um, diamonds. Um, it's, it's endless and it's so awesome to watch. Do please look them up. You'll find many of them on uh, Instagram, as well as there is an app if, um, for it as well. Of course, there's an app for everything. But they're really fun. Most Zentangles I do, um, I do freehand. I create them myself. Um, periodically, I will choose a Zentangle if I can't think of anything that I want to do. Now with this one, I will be using both colors for the Zentangle. And I won't um, pop ahead here in a little bit, but I want to continue just to talk about this because there are other Zentangles that are actual um, full designs that start with one design that flows into another design and into another. Also, you could call if you would like to say, I mean, I know it has a, has a different word, uh, but even the old Bibles have a form of a Zentangle for the way they were drawn. And that's, a, that's it's amazing to watch. I have quite a few people that I follow myself um, on YouTube that I just enjoy watching and learning. You can always learn and enjoy with this. I'm gonna show you the end. And I thank you so much for joining me. You have a great day.